The Pinger from Cyber Data Systems is a highly effective test tool for verifying connectivity and locating network problems. 70% of all network problems are physical layer problems, such as a damaged cable or an improperly installed connector. The Pinger quickly and easily verifies point-to-point -point connectivity and connectivity across a network. When attached to a network, the Pinger immediately attempts to link to the device at the other end, which is typically a switch. We are using a 3Com switch for this demonstration. If the link is good, then the speed and duplex mode of the device port is shown. In this case, the Pinger linked at 100 full duplex. Connectivity to the far end device has now been verified and equipment installed at this location will be able to make the same connection. The duplex information is also very important to know when configuring a device installed on a network. Duplex mismatch causes poor link performance because of the high number of read transmissions. After point-to-point -point connectivity has been verified with a successful linking, the ping function is used to show connectivity across the network and identify problems. The pinger has several different ping features. The first is the DHCP function. When the DHCP function key is pressed, the pinger sends out a DHCP request for an IP address. If an IP address is provided, this shows that the DHCP server is operating properly and equipment configured for DHCP will be able to connect at this location. Pressing the info button to show the subnet and gateway address. If no IP address is provided, then a static IP address must be assigned to any device connected to this port. Without any further configuration, pressing ping sends a ping request to the DHCP server. A good ping shows that one packet was sent and one was received. Pressing the up arrow to show a round trip time of one millisecond. The round trip time is a good indication of the level of network traffic to expect. More than a few milliseconds of round trip time indicates that network performance may be degraded. Connectivity across the network has been verified for equipment installed at this location. A DHCP ping is simple and fast. A ping to a selected IP address on a network can be used to isolate problems. For example, a workstation is unable to connect to a network printer. The pinger can be connected at the workstation and ping the IP address of the printer. If the ping is successful, then there is a hardware or software issue with the workstation. If the ping fails, then attach the pinger to a connection closer to the printer and ping it again. If the ping is successful, then the problem is between the pinger's current location and the workstation. If the ping fails, continue to move to the printer and repeat the test. The pinger can ping a stored list of IP addresses. By storing a list of IP addresses that are in different subnets, pinging a port with this list will identify the subnet that the port is assigned as only IP addresses in the same subnet will respond to the ping. The pinger can ping a range of IP addresses. Let's ping the whole subnet mask now. This is used to identify which IP addresses are being used and which are available for assignment. This feature is very useful when static IP addresses are used to reduce the possibility of assigning a duplicate IP address. Duplicate IP addresses can seriously impact network performance. The ping profiles feature allows technicians to configure and save up to eight different test setups. 
Using a stored profile increases productivity by eliminating the need to input specific configuration information. The pinger can send out continuous pings, which can be used to simulate traffic loading. Adding traffic to a network will demonstrate how the network will perform when traffic levels increase, which they always do. The continuous ping can also be used to find an intermittent problem on a device. Ping packets can be sent to a device for up to about 24 hours. Each transmitted packet is compared with the received packet and any bad packets are counted and displayed. The number of bad packets should be zero for most tests. Receiving even a few bad packets indicates the device may completely fail shortly. Identifying which port on a switch that a workstation or a wall outlet jack is connected can be a time-consuming task. The Pinger Port ID feature transmits link activation signals that blink LED on the connected port with a recognizable pattern. There are five different patterns that can be selected by the user to ensure compatibility with most switches. The Pinger is an easy to use tool that allows technicians to quickly solve many of the most common problems found when installing new equipment and maintaining existing networks.